Previously on Tales of Berseria, we spoke with Artorius's old Norman companions and learned more about his past before he settled in a ball. We then took on the final Class 4 zone, which is filled with powerful mini-boss demons. Finally, we climbed Mount Keelaraus in order to ch access the Heavenly Steps, a dungeon where every boss is gated behind a timed DPS check. Alright, let's see if I get a good random room. Nope, not really. This one has a, w a bizarro puzzle in it. And a bunch of enemies. Yeah, I'm just gonna reload. Oh shit. That's a lot of enemies. Well, I don't have to fight any of them, because I have a Geo Board. Oh no, there's a- how long does this go on? Do I actually fight all of them? Am I not able to just dodge them to get to the exit? Yeah, I may want to reload this one too. Oh, okay, we're we're good. We're, we made it. I don't think we have a chance. Excellent. We have a dragon fight. Why are you so happy? It could very well kill us. You're worrying over nothing, Velvet. If you don't want to die here, then don't die here. Simple. Or right, this is a reskin of the lizard demon we fought on the beach. It's gonna be hard to combo, but at the same time, we have a lot more resources going for us. I did quite a bit of off-screen grinding in order to make everyone just a bit stronger. Yeah, so the enemies here are really good for farming a demon tight. Those, I do have a hard time trying to get their unique drops. I'll be lucky to get even one, but it'll be hard to get a duplicate, which is an issue for the ones that are supposed to be semi-universal. Seems to have some kind of roaring attack that could stun me, but maybe... I'm not sure what it's supposed to do. Seems to hit me for some reason, and so it's probably a good thing I'm in Furion for most of the time. Yeah, let's just hope it doesn't get me with the body press while I'm in the middle of a long animation. Alright, man, I should get the Mystic Arch Chain. Did you think you could escape me? Nice. Got two items mastered. Velvet and Lafayette said can now do a dual mystic art. But it's probably hard to pull off. I thought a dragon would end up in here. This place is more dangerous than I'd imagined. Ah, but it's good for the soul, isn't it? The dragons have all come to this place in search of the gate. Not you again! What gate is this? It is the doorway to the heavens. Can you be any more cryptic? Don't even bother, Velvet. See? We're just going to have to keep moving if we want to find out. It's the way these things work. This better be worth our time. Oh, 
Okay, this seems to be a safe room. I hope. Yes, there is a cat, so let's set a checkpoint. It still costs 100. Good. I was afraid it would start increasing each time I go up a floor. Awesome, it's a deal. Alright, in the next area I'll probably have more stuff I can grind out, huh? Hmm, I can even go back and forth to go to other chambers. Okay, I actually made it to the uh, uh, to the Flame of Malevolence room, but I'm not going to do it yet. I did get the one recipe, Seashell Pasta Minstrone. Such a weird thing to put in a chest. Okay, this seems to be a recipe used in Seashell Pasta Minstrone, but can I even buy more of those? I should actually check back at the cat shop. If I can't buy it, then there's no way I'm going to make it, ever. I don't see the ingredient in here, so yeah, it's going to be a very difficult recipe to to use. I don't think- good thing there's no individual recipe mastery like in other games, though. Yeah, is it listed here? How many can I even make? One. Alright, turns out you can actually re-challenge the bosses by making your way back to the boss room. Obviously, the very first boss is the most accessible because you don't have to worry about doing the time trial ever again. The other ones, you would have to pay a bunch of cat souls in order to skip their trials once you completed them before. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Tales of Berseria. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon.